The Navier-Stokes equation is F equals MA for a viscous fluid. In Chapter 2, we looked at an inviscid fluid and derived F equals MA for that fluid, which is the Euler equation, starting from F is equal to MA. We considered the forces on a blob of fluid, which per unit volume are minus grad P, where P is the pressure, is equal to rho the density times the material derivative of the velocity field, dV by dt. Then expanding with the definition of the material derivative, we obtain this expression. When we include the shear stresses and the viscosity, we get extra terms on the left-hand side due to these forces. These are shown here for a Newtonian fluid, such as water or air, in which mu is uniform and constant. This can be written as mu, open brackets, d2 by dx squared plus d2 by dy squared plus d2 by dz squared, all acting on v, the velocity field, minus grad p is equal to the same expression as above. In vector notation, this can be written very conveniently as mu del dot del v, with the additional terms unchanged. And del dot del is abbreviated simply to del squared. This is the Navier-Stokes equation. As a reminder, it is simply F equals MA written for a viscous fluid. It is usually written the other way around and divided by rho. And we can derive the equations for Poisson flow and Couet flow directly from the Navier-Stokes equation. That's actually my preferred way of doing it. For example, the Navier-Stokes equation for steady flow between flat plates gives zero on the left-hand side because there is no acceleration as shown previously, is equal to minus 1 upon rho dp by dx plus mu upon rho d2 vx by dy squared. That's in the x direction. In the y direction, one simply obtains 0 is equal to minus 1 upon rho dp by dy plus 0 because Vy is zero. And so this expression simply tells us that there is no pressure gradient in the y direction, while the top expression gives us the required relationship between dp by dx and d2vx by dy squared.